hey, hi, I'm Ona, this is Chit Chat. So those people have left. <laughs> so I can actually take my time and, you know, it was supposed to be cloudy or rainy today, but it's it's really not, you know, that's why I took a chance. You know what, even if it was going to rain, I'll, I'm out of here, <laughs> you know, but, um, yeah, you know, I'm just, uh, they're cutting the grass. I'm just going to get things together slowly and, um, just do what I need to do to get out of here. Oh, I got this stuff, that spray stuff I got, it wasn't that great with the itching. So I got this, you can probably see it backward, calamine lotion. I remembered that. And so I got it and you know what, this stuff works, I, you know? I haven't got bitten any more than, you know, than what I have now, but it's real itchy. So I just want these things to heal. I got all these pink spots all over me now on my legs. I don't know what's biting me. Um, I, d I do think I'm going to take a trip down to Walmart and I'm going to fog this thing out or I'm actually, I'm just going to get the stuff to fog it. I'll fog it out in Kansas. Um, when we get over there, um, check in, a uh, checkout is like four and check in is like six. So I, I don't know how strict they are on that because it's Monday. And, um, when I made the reservation, I don't think anybody was camped in that spot that I chose. So I'm hoping that I could just kind of squeeze in there at some time, you know, whenever I get there. Um, it's weird how they have the check-in time so late, you know, I don't, I don't know why they made that change. It used to be like at all these places that you check out by 11, check in by 12. So I don't know what's going on. Um, it does make it an inconvenience, but you know, um, but we're going to hang out here and I'm going to clean, you know, cause I don't want, I didn't want to have to rush through this, but I was feeling like the urgency to, if those people were here, you know, cause I don't know. I just, those children have a bleak future. <laughs> Like with parents like that, you know, how are children able to make it with, I don't even know how to, you know, I don't even know what to say about all that. It's so sad, you know, like sometimes I feel like, man, all the people in my life that were kind of important, they all passed away already. I wish, you know, sometimes I wish like, dang, you guys are lucky that you're not seeing all this garbage out here and just it's so sad and depressing and you know <sighs> right is there any safe place to go i don't think so not anymore so i don't know you guys i just wanted to get on here real quick and say you know oh they're gone i don't have to worry about them anymore and um, the other people that are there, they're still there. They, the ones who are, I think they're using either they're, they're, pro they're using meth because, you know, a neighbor guy that I spoke to down here, which was cool. He's not a druggie. Uh, he was telling me that you could smell the meth in the bathrooms. I was like, uh, I don't even go in the bathrooms. I, I have my own here. And, um, Brian's getting all crazy for a long time. Brian! He's just protecting, you know, he's so afraid a little bit, Brian, be quiet, baby. He's, he, he's, he's barking because, you know, the machines are scary for him, you know. Um, these are nice gardening people. I saw them the last time. Um, but yeah, the, you know, those, those children, I, I feel bad, you know, because I gave them some things. I tried to talk about Jesus. <laughs> I don't know how well that worked at all. They were like, who's that? You know, <laughs> 
so sad, you know, but, um, it's all good, I mean, I, the best I can do is, you know, say a little bit and move on with my life, because I can't, I can't hang around here, oh, and I just thought of that, that one pastor, preacher guy, I don't know who, who he was where I, when I went to that food bank, that's probably why he's so disappointed and he looks all, he, you know, because, I mean, look what the world is coming to. It's like there's no, I, I feel like there's no hope. It's like even you see people out here working and doing things, even they look like they're on dope. Some, not all, but a lot of them. Like when you go into the stores, the grocery stores, or if you go to like McDonald's even, or because sometimes I go to McDonald's, I like to get the iced tea. It looks like that some people in there, they're on dope too. And know you guys it's scary it's scary what the world is coming to I feel I feel so disappointed you know and, and then and now look at the government and the future of our government maybe I should live outside maybe I should move out of the country I don't because this country is sucks. It's, it's turning into something not so good, not so pleasant. You know, where's the, which states are good, you know what I mean? Not this one. Not this one. Or maybe there's some spots that are good, but not right here. When you get closer to like the cities and stuff, ugh. It's probably like that everywhere though. It's probably like that in like every like major city, like all the druggies and just, ugh. It's like, I don't even wanna touch anybody. I don't wanna brush up against anybody. I just, I'm so grossed out by it. It's so sad, you know? Anyways, that's all I have because the lawnmowers are really going, but I'm Mona. This is Chit Chat, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.